In this video we're going to wrap ballistic gel with various types of material and show the reaction. And I might add that these suggestions come from our beloved viewers. Welcome back Tau Flater folks. Jeff, Jeff, Brandon and Greg out here with you today with something completely different. And I know I always say that, but, but we want to show you the energy that goes into the, uh, that goes into a gel block when around hits a gel block, a, a slug. You've seen a lot of gel block tests on this channel. You've seen uh, Britney Spears and, uh, and Justin Bieber dolls flying through the air. And a lot of people have a lot of suggestions about how we should tie it down and stuff. We want to try and illustrate for you today how much energy is being sent through this gel block. So we've shoved it inside of a pair of jeans. And this thing feels surprisingly lifelike. It's just like when I squeeze a real man's thigh. <laughs> right after, I, right I, after leg day. Yeah which I don't do by the way, but we put it inside of a pair of jeans here because these jeans are just barely bigger than the gel block. And that gel block, as you've seen before, likes to expand and blow up. So will it tear the denim? Will, it, will the denim contain the big explosion of gel? We don't really know. But after the denim, we're gonna try some other materials here. We're gonna wrap the gel block in duct tape. We have clear cellophane tape, a suggestion by a lot of viewers. You should wrap it in cellophane tape. <laughs> uh, we have some weird, Two conductor uh, speaker wire. Oh yeah, Ed Belden cable maybe. No. Okay, or I thought it was something that lit off bombs, but oh, we have saran wrap because a lot of people have said, oh, you should wrap the gel block in saran wrap to keep it on the table. We want to show you that the energy is so great on this that there's not a lot of things that are going to keep our gel block on the table, and we don't mind picking it up off the dirt and rinsing it off a little bit. And finally, we're going to try wrapping it in chicken wire. That's been another suggestion from the viewers. I like that one. And see if maybe when the gel box explodes, will it goosh out through the little tiny holes? We don't know. But the scientist here is going to be our shooter today. It's all in the name of science. It's right in the science. That's it's a right well-fitting lab coat, too. Turn around. It's, oh, yeah. Ooh. He is protected from radiation. <laughs> Does this make my butt look big? All right, the ammunition we're gonna be shooting today was donated by viewer Terry McDade. He sent a ton of ammunition to Jeff here on Tau Flater Mouse. He sent a ton of ammunition over to me on OG's Danger Show. So we very much appreciate the donations by Terry. Today we're gonna to be shooting federal law enforcement slugs. They say tactical on them, so you know they gotta be good. It's a rifled slug. We're gonna be firing it through a smooth bore, which is what you do with rifled slugs. And then over here we have a federal premium low recoil rifled slug. So I don't think we're going to see a lot of difference when it comes to hitting the gel. But we just want to let you know that Terry sent us a good stack of this stuff. So thank you very much, Terry. And uh, we'll put it to good use right now. Let's take a look at these two different types of ammo from the same company. Now besides the different colored plastic holes, we can see that the hollow points are a little bit different. The law enforcement slug on the left has kind of an enhanced hollow point. It's kind of fancy looking. We'll find out if that is a gimmick or if it actually has any kind of effect. Both slugs have a muzzle velocity of 1300 feet per second. The law enforcement slug on the left weighs 438 grains, which is exactly one ounce like the slug on the right. So what exactly is a true ball? It's actually a little plastic ball that goes in the cavity of the slug. The ball adds a lot more support against the wad but its main purpose is to control something called obturation. When a slug like this is fired, it compresses and expands under its own weight in the bore. The ball keeps the slug very uniform and balanced during the firing cycle. This ultimately adds to the precision of the slug, giving you a little tighter grouping. Okay, I'll shut up now and then let's head back out and do the test. Standard gel block in here, wrapped in denim. Jug of water back here just to back it up. Um, the gel box is going to expand. We know that. Will it tear the denim? Will it rip it at the seam? Nobody knows. Nobody's ever what? done this before on YouTube. There's usually a reason why no one's done it. It's too dangerous. It's true. Or dumb. Oh, it's just a dumb idea. Oh. You ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Steak. You wet his pants. Now it certainly seems that a pair of denim pants is pretty tough, but we really didn't get as much displacement of the gel or hydroshock as we should have. When the slug passed through the jeans, it kind of knocked out a patch of the jeans, preventing the slug from opening up and expanding. Therefore, we had very little energy dump. Uh, pretty good hit right in the end of it here. 
went through the entire unit, blasted right into the jug of soapy water, came out right here. It's like right next to the penis. Here's the slug, which was very well preserved. Now it's possible that you can see that it hasn't expanded that much. No, nope, it has not. How many wraps should we do? At least a dozen. <laughs> a dozen wraps, that's almost 12. Almost. <laughs> There's two. <clears throat> Surprising that I can still see inside the jail block. Yeah. You paid extra for this clear saran wrap. Yeah, yeah. When you're ready. I'm ready. There we go. Oh, oh, and on the dirt. Now in this shot, we definitely had full expansion of the slug. That occurs uh, about two inches into the gel. At the right, we'll see our fully expanded slug bouncing off of our Kevlar, hitting the gel block again and kind of what we call ping-ponging back and forth there. And that is what 12 wraps of plastic wrap looks like. Kind of surprised that it stayed on there, it didn't tear. Right. Uh, we have a little bit of a stretching area here that I think is we're gonna see under the uh, High speed camera would probably got the, the most of the stress, but it didn't tear. However, you can, and we did recover the slug. Jeff found it over here in the uh, back of the vest. Oh, interesting. There's that the was law. the law enforcement yep. blue slug that we were talking about earlier. Okay. Yeah, it's blue, it must be from nature. So we've wrapped uh, 50 feet of Jeff's cell phone cord around the gel block. <laughs> <laughs> so that when we see it expand, hopefully we'll see, I don't think it's obviously not gonna break the cord, but we'll get to see it kind of goosh out through the Okay. Through the wire. I like that. Another idea from a viewer. Here we go. In our second test using the true ball slug, we had full expansion this time. Once again, we see the expanded slug and the little true ball bouncing off the gel. And here comes our uh, plastic wad that all traveled through that wound cavity together. Now honestly, I saw very little difference between the true ball and the tactical slug. Another good shot. Right through the center. It definitely left marks here, but uh, didn't cut into it. And if you can kind of see on the edge here, it actually left little dents on the corners. Yeah. Everything leaves marks on that gel though. I mean, fingerprints and... You've probably seen it on camera already, but half of this wire came unraveled around this thing in a nanosecond. It's how fast, how much energy was flying through there that it popped all this wire off. Yep. That way. And then what did we find? So, first thing we found was the true ball. And then, I'm not sure if this was part of this shot or not, but we did find it laying over here. Oh. One of the wads. Cup or cork. Cork. And then the slug, we actually had some trouble finding it. It actually slipped underneath this uh, panel and it, it hit pretty well here and just tucked underneath there and flattened her right out. Did a good job. We're gonna send this out to one of the viewers as a, a <laughs> super tiny ashtray. There you go. For super tiny smokers. Look at that. It's pretty cool. We'll go about halfway or so. One That's, layer. One layer. We're not gonna go tape. crazy with 12 wraps. Let's just go uh, one overlapping wrap. Sponsored by Benchmade. <laughs> and the wrap was sponsored by the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. 100 mile an hour tape. We're gonna hit it about, uh, how fast it goes? About 1,300 feet per second. Now the duct tape being fiber reinforced doesn't stretch, so it definitely tore in this test, and it tore in a lot of places. Again, we're not really seeing a big difference between the tactical slug and the true ball slug, and once again, we see the slug bouncing off the gel, and we're looking at things like how far the gel block expands, how far it gets thrown up, and all that stuff. And it all seems to be very similar. You can repair your Cessna 172 with it and fly home, but uh, it doesn't make a gel containment very well because it ripped it apart pretty well. It cracked it in several places on this side, but entrance, interestingly, on each corner, it ripped it apart all over the place. Okay. So it's a... Uh, it definitely expanded and uh, ex it far exceeded the tensile strength of this tape. Yeah. 
We're going to collect this up, send it out to one lucky viewer who can make this into a wallet. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we discover some kind of need. Yeah, here. we are sciencing out here. So, Jeff, part two, just wrap this gel block in regular old uh, packing wrap, tape. Yeah, packing tape. It's not going to expand Clear. like the cellophane or the saran wrap did. But uh, what we found as a added bonus was that it makes this gel block rather clear and easy to see through. This is what a gel block looks like after a little shitty. bit of a mess. Yeah. Yeah, fingerprints and dust on it. And then you wrap it in cellophane tape and you can see all the little wound tracks inside. So somebody, it's, it's just like the frosted glass thing where if you had a piece of clear cellophane tape, whatever, you can put it on the frosted glass and be able to see through it. Mm, I saw that on a TV show once. <laughs> it's true. It's one so, of the few things on TV that's true. <laughs> Now one thing we definitely learned here is that wrapping the gel block with some kind of clear tape like this might be something we may do in the future or even use one layer of the plastic wrap. But it almost magically made this rugged looking clear block almost transparent again. And I've got to admit that this was a suggestion viewers have been telling us to do for a while. It looked at first like the uh, packing tape held but Jeff found an area here, one slice all the way around, one slice where this entire packing tape panel. Oh, well, not this section, just okay. these ladder sections came just split apart right here. Ooh. So all that energy only found one way out. It's a, a gooey, gooey fun time. Yeah, what? It, maybe it reacts with a gel or something and it turns into a goo. But we did, uh, one of the uh, benefits of this setup is we keep finding the slugs. Yeah, you'll consistently. See, yeah, you'll see in the video, have been told that they do a little uh, ping-ponging between the uh, vest and the the gel. Yeah. It looks pretty interesting. Can't Almost everyone has done that. Oh, whoa, that's... There's some tearage. That's yeah. a little more like it. Now we wanted to give the jelly pants another try using the federal tactical slug, but the test conditions are quite a bit different this time. We're shooting through wet pants, through the side, and the hole created by the slug creates a weak spot. But we did get full expansion of the slug and a full energy dump into the gel. Near the end of the video I'll show you all the slugs that we recovered. Clearly showed a lot more damage. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it really ripped it apart here. And then uh, also in the back, the, the exit wound here ripped it apart, went through the jeans. We had it kind of balled up behind there. Where? Right there? Right there. Okay. Woo! Finger waggle. Uh, and in, the, in this side. Oh. Yeah. Quite and again, we found the slug, even though it, it had a lot more energy going through that a smaller amount of gel. Yeah. And it looked like it expanded kind of normally. So one layer of jeans doesn't clog well, it up. It was probably because it was wet. Yeah. Maybe. Probably made the difference. I mean, it's won't. possible I mean, if yeah. it was wet. Because this section was wet. I should have shot the dry section. You know what? You take these jeans down to Hot Topic right now, you can sell them for 70 bucks. <laughs> What's next is we have the gel block now contained in this chicken wire. If it can hold chickens, it should be able to check, hold gel. So. <laughs> I think that this that was, was a, Greg's idea. This, yeah, Greg's idea. I don't have any good ideas. You've got great ideas, like staying in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to send a uh, another tactical slug down through this gel and see what it does to this, uh, this uh, chicken wire around this here unit. All right. I like it. In the dirt again. Now using bow motion, we can't really see what's going on, but using the high-speed camera, we had a beautiful thing going on there that we never would have seen otherwise. Now, out of all the things we wrapped the gel in, I think the chicken wire was the best idea. Thank you to whoever suggested that. Some of the best ideas come from our viewers. All these channels that just ignore and don't read their comments are really losing out. So I knew this would start getting exciting 
Eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As always, eventually. Yeah. Okay, what happened there? Well, this was uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, it's pretty consistent that just within the first uh, four or five inches, two inches in, we're seeing to the biggest impact on this gel. That's usually this, how it is, too. Yeah. The, the most energy dump is yeah. right at the beginning. And it actually ripped this chicken wire apart, stretched it out, and exceeded the tensile strength. Broke it. Broke it. Or, uh, really interesting hole on the bottom here if you can see that it's huh, that wasn't there before no, it's, it's just it, it kind of distorted just, all of all of it yeah it's usually where the interesting holes are yeah, at the bottom <laughs> that's right uh or just folding it over on itself seemed to hold most of it together um and also in the back end here you can see where it, it expanded enough started cutting right into the gel and it's still in in pale i thought it would there. do it more i guess it did it all the way down there yeah and you guys have probably already seen this on the high-speed camera, but we expected it was going to squish out of the all. It looked like holes. a cob of corn to me. It was, really? and and it was the greatest amount of disruption was at the you know the the first six inches or so. Got a little bit of gel in the uh, end of this slug here, yeah, and we're, we found another we one. Should. Consistently finding them, which yeah. is great. Okay, a quick summary comparing the two slugs. The slug on the left is the one that went through the pants initially. There was almost no expansion of the slug. The other true balls expanded quite well. The largest expansion we saw was about one and a quarter inches, or about 27 millimeters. The Federal Tactical slugs expanded quite uniformly, averaging around 7 eighths of an inch or oh, about 22 millimeters. The Tactical slugs also seem to use a slightly harder lead. But ultimately, there's very little difference in performance. Pretty amazing. Finally found a, some way to, to use the slugs, and, and he did want to do a comparison, yeah. so we kind of did that. I, I feel a little better now getting that off, you know. The true bowl and the, the, the other slug, tactical slug, seem to operate just about the exact same. Yeah, and you could, you could tell, how, you know, each shot how far the gel block flipped up, how much energy it took, and they're all about the same. There you, there you go. go. But That's it, right? Yeah. Good test. Thank you guys yeah. for sticking around and watching it. We promised you something different, and this was definitely something different. So, Maybe, right. did you learn anything, though? That's. Well, I hope not. Oh. <laughs> if you learned something, we gotta. You guys ought to be paying a tuition or something. <laughs> the TFM School of Ballistic Ballistics and Jackassery. Yes. Jackassery. All right. Yes. Thank you very much, and Thank we'll you. see you on the next video.